So what's going on guys, it's me, Kurobo here, welcome back to another video with you guys, and today this is the, um, the Kurobo Craft Click Team, which is, uh, do stuff in Click Team, that's it. Because you guys all love me, um, doing stuff on Click Team and stuff like that, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do is, gonna make an RPG, and put defense game, put them together, and then it's gonna make, create something like a very, very, uh, fun uh playable thing so right now i'm um, just designing this guy which is gonna be a little placeholder uh he's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be more uh pretty and uh pretty cute pretty awesome uh i have no else to say that because my pictionary level is very very low uh I mean, I play a lot of scribble scribbleio so much. I mean, yeah, but my pictionary uh, it's very very low. Still learning, all right. He has no hair, so I'm using a Inkscape to do this because bad news. My graphic tablets um wor is um working glitchily uh, this morning. Uh, so because the the pressure level is going crazy, like when it. If it, before we t even touch the other graphic tablet, it will make the pressure level go 8,000. So that's why it keeps drawing and stuff. So I better get like a new one. I'm trying to to keep up the budgets and stuff. So yeah. So let's make him a little hair like so because it's gonna be very very cute and it's gonna be a very educational looking kid I don't know what else to say that put him like uh, this type of hair remove the stroke paint I'm not a big fan of those I don't think so maybe there you go I'm gonna light him up a little bit like Inkscape is very 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 useful for me to make these kind of graphics and stuff so we can zoom it out and uh, we're gonna use these tools do the shapes and stuff. So, so this is for the gradient. So there you go. Now he's looking cute. We're gonna make a little animation, so we're gonna save that. Uh, we're gonna go to the this PC documents, and we're gonna right-click that new. Um, let's say, uh, Inkscape Images, or Ins Inkscape Sprites. So basically this program uses a SVG, so we're gonna player, we're gonna make some enemies, and we're gonna make a little uh, I don't know if it's gonna be how the story or not. This is just a little sandbox game kind of thing. So yeah. So we have finally made our sprite. Now we want to move it like so, like that. It's gonna be like this, and uh, basically he will facing to the left. We're gonna make a little walking animation as well. You can you can do animation with stuff, but you keep exporting the page of itself. We need to choose that. And then what the heck am I saying? Uh, Inkscape images. Um, player face left. Now select the whole thing. We're gonna flip it off. And we're gonna move it a little bit. There. Now I want to want to rename it and make it to the right, then export. Keep clicking export. This is very very important. Now we want to play it to face on the front. To 
go back. Now I'm making to 60 back and export. Now we do have a sprite. Now we're the the house sprite is gonna be just a placeholder, an active placeholder. It's over there. It's over there. Take the potato. <laughs> Not very racist. I'm sorry, Irish people. Um, escape. Now we make all these sprites. Make it center. Make it to the center again. He's looking at the back, and then now he's gonna look to the to the front. Now, now we have a sprite. Now we want to make this as a movement into direction, which is automatically makes a moving character. Once we play this, gonna split full screen, and there you go. Now we have a moving char character. Now we want this this guy scroll. So we're gonna make our first code char character stats. Character stuff. There you go. Put on always there. Scrolling. Set to the window. We want this as a scrolling object. There you go. Now it's fully scrolling. Okay. So that is the end. The main part. The part of the game. Now we want to make a grass. Right here. Which is gonna be placeholder for now. Which is gonna be a little simple graphic of grass. See some bits in there. There. Now it's gonna look like Minecraft grass, but that's fine. There. Now we have a grass. Now let's play this game. It's looking pretty good. Now, as you may see, he's leaving to the screen. We don't want that. So, to do that, um, position, to position, select all this area. When you lead to the play area, make it stop. That's basically that's it. There you go, now this automatically stops when you try to leave in the, uh, the play area. And that's it. And we want a this house active as a collision as well. Uh, use find detection, uncheck that. We're gonna lock that. There you go. And collision to another, not overlapping. And make it stop. You can see it start colliding to the uh, to the house. All right. Now that is the end, the main part of the game, and we want to make a a GUI or hood. For the game. Now, right now, we're not gonna make a uh, the most epic HUD ever. Only the main part is the wave counter. We want this have a design on it, and we're gonna choose some fonts. Some people um very confused how to change um the counter fonts. It's very easy, just click import fonts and there you go. You will lead this to the, uh, the custom fonts station. I like I like using terminal for the uh, for the game and just resize it like that. I uh, want to move this right here. There you go. Now it has a little counter that represents as a wave. Now we want to make a resource counters. Which means it's gonna be wood counter. Uh, stone counter. Okay, you know, you know what that's gonna be for now. Now we want to color this. Or to do it fastly, we're gonna make this opacity 94 and just keep doing this until it's completely browned. There you go. We're gonna do the same thing but gray.
make sure it's completely collared, fully covered, completely coated. There! That's the important counters. Let's move, let's move it around. Now we have our little player. Now we want to this have an animation. 11 minutes. So we want to reopen our player. Not save it. So that means it will open the player like this. Close. Now we want a animation walking. It's very easy. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is gonna make like this. I just want to make a simple animation, like a kind of 8 bit kind of animation. It's gonna go like that. That means that's that's basically a walk. Right now, that's it. That's that's all we need. Now export. We want this walk. Right. Alright, we don't want to delete that. This is a... Uh... This is the front walk. Uh, where's the front? Walk. Front number one. Walk front number two. Now we're gonna make the we're gonna make the back. There you go. We're gonna make all this all the way back. There. Export. this and make this number two there you go now I make a little animation I'm gonna copy this paste it out make this the speed into 10 make it loop Test this a little, a little bit. Now it does work. I want to copy this. Now it's kind of walking. I would just. We want to flip it off and copy, and then paste this as well. And the front, there you go. Copy and paste. You don't need actually to make a uh, walking one, front one and two. I just copied that. There you go. Now he's walking. Hey. Now we want this the back. And uh Alright, I think the animation is finished. Hey, now we made a little uh walking animation. Alright, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. That was a the first devlog of uh, the untitled game because there's no title game yet, and I'm gonna think of it if I have an if I uh, name idea, and then I'll tell you guys in the next episode. 
Anyway, that's gonna be it for a blog, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. guys.